<laughs> so last weekend, me and my mates went out onto a road trip. We went down to the Wilson's prom. Actually, should I say where we took? So last weekend, me and my mates went on a road trip. <laughs> And we did nothing illegal at all. Anyway, if you've been following me on Instagram, I just uploaded this photo recently and I received countless messages from you guys asking me, how do I edit a photo like that? So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to take this photo, this bland old piece of shit into an amazing masterpiece. First thing that you want to do is open up Photoshop and chuck this sky into this image. The easiest way that I like to do it to make sure I get the most accurate results is obviously the way that takes the longest, which is using the pen tool and very carefully tracing the pen tool around the sand, around the dirt bike, and then around the other edge. But as you can see, there's still a giant blue piece here between his arms and in and out of his bike. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna come over to this layer here and we're gonna click on this button here, which is called mask. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up this big white rectangle thing. And uh, we're gonna zoom in and pretty much, I'm just gonna use the pen tool just to trace around these two parts as well. So now that we've done that, we're gonna come over to our brush tool here, hit the brush tool, make sure the black selected and just brush around it. Okay, so essentially now that we've done the main part of the image, now we can add in all the other props. So right over here we've got some birds, we've got a moon, and we've got some stars. These are all photos that I've taken, and what I'm gonna do for you guys to make it even easier for you, I'm gonna add in the sky, the stars, the moon, and the birds into a Dropbox folder for you guys to download and put into your own image. So what you want to do is you want to come over here to the stars, do the same thing, control A, control C, come over to this image, control V, chuck them in, bring the layer up to the top there. I'm just going to rotate these stars around. Come over here to our blend mode, as you can see it's on normal right now. Linear dodge works the best for this image. Sometimes screen might work better or lighten, but for this image, because of the lighter blues, we're going to come over to linear dodge add. But as you can see, obviously there's a cutoff here, pretty drastic and it's pretty obvious. So what we're going to do is we're also going to come over to our mask again, come over to the brush tool, brush across the bottom there, and that's going to just fade it out really nicely. Chuck that in, bring that down, make sure it's, make sure it's centered as well. Usually for Photoshop will lock into place on where it thinks it's centered. Same thing, come over to screen, that blend mode on. Screen usually works the best. Now what I like to do for my moon images, it's if it's not already blurred, I like to come over to filter and put a bit more blur in it just to give it a bit more realism. So sometimes 1.5 can be enough just to give it a bit more blur. And then also bring the opacity down a bit so it fades in a bit better. Maybe about 80%. So once you've got your moon in place, then we can bring in the birds as well. Because this is already a PNG image, it doesn't technically have a background. They're just the birds themselves. So they sit pretty comfortably right here already. As you can see, the guy on the bike is a lot darker than the birds. So we're gonna come over to the adjustment again and just bring the, the darkness of them right down, just like that, perfect. So we just got our dirt here as well. We're just gonna reposition this nicely, just so we can put it in, add, add a bit extra realism into the shot. I'm gonna come into filter, blur, motion blur. Maybe four pixels is enough, I reckon, just to blur it a little bit, just to give it a bit extra realism. We've done all the Photoshopping to the image. Now we're gonna bring it across from Photoshop into Lightroom to give it an edit. So that's pretty much this editing tutorial done. I hope I taught you something new today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But with that all said and done, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>